want to talk about boat setup, but more clearly explain. This is a subject that I feel is easy to get long winded on, or then there's times it feels like I've missed a few things. I've watched many videos on YouTube how they're setting up their transom height, so the strut depth, and I don't agree with that at all. That is not the correct way to set up a three-point hydro. This sketch I've drawn with a cutout of the UL-19 replicates how I set it up on my board. And hopefully I'll be able to more easily explain how I set it up and why. From setting it up on the five millimeter shims under the sponsons to the one inch blocks under the bottom of the hull and how I set my height and angle of my strut. The first thing to establish is what's a positive or a negative adjustment. To me, anything that causes the front of the boat to come up or run looser is a positive adjustment. Anything that pushes the front down or runs wetter would be a negative adjustment. If you take the prop shaft angle, which is in the back of the boat, and if you tilt it this way, front down, that would be a positive adjustment. That would raise front of the boat. Conversely, like this canard wing, if you adjust the front of it down, that would be a negative adjustment because that would push the bow of the boat down. Two more things to establish and understand is a three-point hydro is designed to run with the bottom of the hull, this area right in here, level. And the other thing is a surface application prop will come up until the center line of the prop shaft is level with the surface of the water. So what I've done with this setup is this five millimeter thick shim is the distance from the bottom of the strut to the center line. And this one inch block, real close to 25 millimeter, is this three quarter inch height of the sponson plus the five millimeter shim. So that's 20 millimeters plus five millimeters. So this block, when the sponsons are sitting on the shim, causes this surface to be level. Same numbers here and here. There is also an air relief in the back underneath. It's a one and a half degree angle. And that is another four millimeters. I am, when I measure it, 29 millimeters off the setup board setting on the five millimeter shims and the 25 millimeter blocks. And that is how a three point hydro is gonna ride on the surface of the water. Sponsons come up on top of the water. The surface running prop, the prop shaft comes, the center line comes up to the surface of the water. There's two things to note here. One is the body of a three-point hydro is a flat bottom airfoil. It's flat here with a raised entry point and the airfoil. Body is an airfoil. A flat bottom airfoil will generate lift when it's running with a level attitude. The canard wing is a symmetrical airfoil. A symmetrical airfoil cannot generate lift 
until you change the um, angle of attack to the oncoming air. So with this boat running level, now this canard wing can do its job. It is negative six and a half degrees and is generating a little bit of downforce. And that is what I meant when I said in my earlier video, running level like this lets the canard wing and the lifting body of the hull to perform as ProBoat designed it. Also to note, since when it's running, the angle of the body, the angle of attack didn't change, the right attitude didn't change, my prop shaft angle also did not change. Let's look at what happens if we do our setup with the sponsons down on the setup board. And we're going to set up our strut height with one of those strut height gauges, just measuring the height from the back of the, of the um, transom to the setup board. Let's even set it up so the bottom of the hall is level. Sponson setting on the board, bottom of the hall level. And we will set our strut height down on the board and what we think is perfectly level. So that dimension is actually going to be 25 millimeters. It'd be the 29 millimeter dimension I had when I was up here on the five millimeter shims and on the um, 25 millimeter blocks. This being this dead rise here, rising up four millimeters gives me a total of 29. So we drop it down on the board. We've came down five millimeters. So that'd be 24 millimeters from here to here. Now when the boat gets out on the water, sponsons come up top of the water. The surface running prop comes up. So the prop shaft is running, um, center line of the prop shaft is level with the water. This is no longer running level. It changed by this much. We set up on a board like this, it only comes up this much. Now, the angle of attack on the body, the flat bottom airfoil, and the canard has changed. This is riding with a positive or loose angle, generating way more lift. The smaller canard wing, instead of running like this, is now came up a little bit. It's not creating as much downforce. And on top of that, this prop angle, if we changed it and dropped it down like this, we now have a prop shaft angle that is running like this slightly. So we don't have known settings when we set it up flat on the board and then it runs at a different attitude than we set it up at. Setting it up on the five millimeter shim and the 25 millimeter block lets me precisely set the prop shaft angle. I have found that angle to be the most sensitive adjustment when you're going really fast as far as the difference of it staying on the water or blowing off. So set up on the shim and on the blocks. If I set like I did my prop shaft angle 
So I have a slight negative angle. It's, this is going to push the front of the boat down when I tilt the prop shaft at an angle like this. This being perfectly level, I can check this with shims, and I did. I had, I believe it was 13 thou shim under there, and then I flipped the boat over, zeroed out with my digital pitch gauge on the bottom of the hull. That was a negative one and a half degree angle. And that was the difference of me when I got the more powerful lipos and I was going faster. That was the difference of staying loose and getting the max speed, but also staying on the water. When that boat is running, I have that exact negative one and a half degree angle to my prop shaft. Always you set up on the board and then the boat's out on the water running, that angle has slightly changed and there is no way using a strut height gauge back here and then the boat running at a different angle, there's no way to accurately set that prop shaft angle. So that's a lot more information. Hopefully it's clearer than when I was showing this setup board with the blocks and shims, trying to share how I do my setups. But I don't understand guessing at a setup is what I call it. These are known settings that I can make incremental changes from. And for me, that was the difference of staying on the water and going real fast.